This video tells you how to find uh, the correlation coefficient when you've got a scatter diagram in GeoGebra. Uh, in previous videos we've made this scatter diagram very easily and we can put a regression line on it, but to calculate how well correlated it is using the correlation coefficient is dead easy. In fact, it's done it all already once you're in this statistics window which we generated in the previous videos. You can click on this little option at the top here. Uh, it says Sigma X, but actually it's basically saying give me the data. And if you click on it, it gives you loads of data, not just the correlation coefficient. You've got the mean of the X values, the mean of the Y values, uh, all sorts of other things which you recognize from your statistics course, but in particular this value R, which is the correlation coefficient, and it's calculated for you by default because it knows that's the sort of thing you need uh, to happen when you're handling statistics. If you want to work with this a bit more carefully instead of just seeing that number, which is done already, you can, as usual, copy it to the graphics view and there's the uh, the data. All it's done is it just made a list of points. And there's a command in GeoGebra called, if I start typing correlation, it comes up with, ah, oh, do you mean correlation coefficient? Uh, surprisingly enough, I do mean correlation coefficient. And you can give it two options. You can give it a list of x coordinates and the list of y coordinates that correspond with it. Or you can give it a list of points. And since mine has just generated a list of points up here, that's what I want to do. I'm going to press return and type in list one because that's the name of my list, and it will calculate, uh, it's just giving it a letter A, the correlation coefficient, and then you can use that in other calculations in GeoGebra if you wish. So that's how to calculate the correlation coefficient uh, in GeoGebra of a bivariate data set.